Welcome to the big island of Hawaii and the Pololu Valley area on the big island. This is the north flank of the oldest volcano on Hawaii, Kohala. We're on the north flank of this ancient shield volcano that's no longer active, but uh, deeply eroded the oldest part of this island, Hawaii. Rocks here are anywhere from oldest are like maybe 700,000 or so years old. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey. We're going to take a hike down here this way to and down into the Pololu Valley and the beach there. And as we get down there, we'll be able to look at the rocks that make up Kohala, um, some of the neat erosional features there as well. So the Pololu Valley area um, has these striking steep sea cliffs here. Just you can see the the slope of the mountain come down off the volcano and there's an abrupt change of slope right here. And this is a section of the island that's actually collapsed into the sea, an ancient uh, debris avalanche, submarine landslide, if you will, that occurred about 350,000 years ago called the Kohala Debris Avalanche. And it extends from here at Pololu Valley all the way to the east at the Waipio Valley. So this whole section of the mountain has actually collapsed into the sea. That's all littered out across the seafloor there. So we're gonna take a hike down to the bottom, um, check out what we can, look at the geology. So let's go. So as we head down the trail here, you can see how different this part of Hawaii is. There's lots of rainfall here. So there's these thick soils. This again is the oldest part of the island. And so the rocky, lava landscapes we see in so many other parts of Hawaii are for the most part absent here and those basaltic rocks have been deeply eroded to form these these thick red soils that you can see as you come down the trail. So this part of Kohala um, again being so much older has had much more time for streams to erode into the landscape. It's really one of the only parts of Hawaii on the Big Island where you're going to find streams running across the landscape. Everywhere else where that young basaltic rock is, we have um, you know, no surface streams. All that water and rainfall just drains down through those porous and permeable rocks. But here there's been enough erosion and weathering of the rock to actually produce a very thick sets of, set of soils. So we'll head down to the beach Go a little bit further, enjoy the trail. Try not to trip over any roots on the way down. Here we have some of the basalts exposed along the trail here. More of a, maybe a gully when it rains heavy here as opposed to a trail, but this little cliff face here has some of the shield building lava flows that formed from Kohala uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago. Lots of vesicles, gas bubbles in these. You can see these are uh, sheeted, probably sheeted pohoihoi stacked flows sitting on top of each other here uh, along the trail. So a little bit of a fresh exposure there in what's otherwise a kind of soil rich, vegetation rich environment. So great view here at what I think is the last switch back before we get down to the beach. You can see the steep cliff here uh, dropping down to the ocean. And then when we turn and look out to the west here, we can see again these steep cliffs. Um, what's left of this escarpment from this giant landslide that carried some of this part of the island out to the sea. And then looking back up here, into the valley proper and the black sand beach. So all the eroded basalt here uh, forming this black sand beach. Of course, the surf on this side of the island tends to be quite vigorous. We're on the side of the island with the trade winds being dominant. And so the surf can be uh, quite vigorous and intense. And so there's a lot of erosion and weathering of these rocks. It gets a lot of rain, although today's a nice sunny day. And they also have some pretty high surf events as well. 
So we'll head down to the beach, uh, maybe take a look at the rocks, see what we can see once we get down to the valley floor. Okay, made it down to the beach here, down along the coastline, here at the Palolu Beach and Valley. And I don't know all the history, but this is, there was a, a native at the top that spoke about this place being, you know, very sacred. There's uh, ancient Hawaiian heiaus or temples or sacred places in this valley and um, treating it with respect. You're not allowed to go uh, up past the point here or to hike overland um, towards the Waipio Valley. So we're going to stay here on the beach, but see what we can see. You can see that it's a pretty high energy environment, some sand, but then there's this uh, bench or berm of rocks, mostly basalt, pretty much all basalt, uh, that are shingled or imbricated a little bit here by the, the, the waves that have been pounding in here. And as we look at the rocks in a little bit of detail, let's see if we can find Usually we should be able to find some big crystals of either plagioclase or olivine, the two main minerals that make up these rocks. It looks like we've got one here. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. Yeah, a little white crystal. There we go of plagioclase in this piece of basalt. Uh, let's see what else we've got. But again, just the shape of these just speaks to how powerful. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can get this in the, in the camera pretty good here. Let's see, right here. Nice, hopefully you can see that okay. Really green olivine crystal. Olive green, olivine, along with some white plagioclase. And there's smaller specks of olivine in here as well. <clears throat> so nice crystal rich rock here. Some of the more red uh, oxidized pieces of basalt like this one right here. But a pretty fantastic spot. Um, I really like so much of the Big Island's just so different. And you know, you've got five overlapping volcanoes of different ages. The landscape changes from very like recent and volcanic, maybe younger than you are, to this more, I mean, what for Hawaii is an ancient landscape, hundreds of thousands of years old. Um, but it just constantly amazes me, just the diversity that exists here. Just fantastic. Hey, thanks for joining me on this little trip down into the Pololu Valley here on the north coast of the Big Island and off the north flank of Kohala, the most ancient and old of Hawaii's volcanoes. We'll go ahead and shut down here, hike back out, but thanks for your support of the channel. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure. And we'll see you next time.